Hello guys, this is Raven from Digi Integrity. Welcome to Tech News episode 126. A security researcher has founded that a carefully crafted network name causes a bug in the networking stack of iOS and can completely disable your iPhone's ability to connect to Wi-Fi. Once the iPhone or iPad joins the network with the name mentioned on the screen, the device falls to connect to Wi-Fi networks or use system networking features like AirDrop. This issue persists after rebooting the device. Apple might be making the wireless charging coil on the iPhone 13 series a bit larger than the previous generation. It is also possible that the change might even bring support for reverse wireless charging as well. The upcoming iPhone 13 would feature a stronger MagSafe magnets as well. Now we can believe that this might be the reason for the larger coil size. PUBG Mobile data transfer to Battlegrounds Mobile India will be suspended temporarily on July 9. The previous deadline was on July 6. Players can transfer their character ID, user level, avatar, achievement, progress, rewards, in-game currency, weapon skin and more from PUBG Mobile to BGMI. Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra first sale in India is on July 7. The handset will be the exclusive available via Mi.com and Mi Home Store. Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra specifications include a 6.81 inch display, Snapdragon 888 5G processor and a 67 watt wireless charging support. Xiaomi launched the Redmi Note 10 series in the country back in March. The Redmi Note 10 series in India consists of four devices, Redmi Note 10, Redmi Note 10S, Redmi Note 10 Pro and Redmi Note 10 Pro Max. Now it seems like the company will soon add another smartphone to the Redmi Note 10 lineup. Redmi India earlier today posted a teaser on its social media handles hinting towards a latest device launch. The upcoming Redmi device in India will be Redmi Note 10 T 5G and will be an Amazon exclusive as a microsite is already live. Xiaomi has increased the price of Redmi Note 10 Pro smartphone. The handset was launched in March this year and it was originally priced at Rs 16,999. After the latest price hike, the 6GB RAM and 128GB storage model of Redmi Note 10 Pro comes with a price tag of Rs 17,999. Realme 7 Pro is one of the best phone that you can get under Rs 20,000. Right now, the Realme 7 Pro is selling at Rs 4,000 discount. The Realme GT Master Edition is expected to go official soon in China. As per the leaks, a smartphone will also be coming to Europe soon. And some of the specifications of the GT Master Edition will be a flagship device with Snapdragon 870 and 50 megapixel triple cameras. And there is another leak which also claimed that it will be coming with a Snapdragon 778G processor and a 64 megapixel triple cameras. Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3 will get the Tom Brown A limited edition. The Z Flip 3 3D models has a base and made a mock-up of the upcoming design. This year, the external display will be larger, a 1.1 inch two-line display. And all indications are that will be covered with black glass, which creates a two-tone design. This will likely be preserved by the Tony Brown edition. By the way, there are some expectations that the external display will always have on functionality. But that is not the ease according to the rumor. Sony announced last week that it will unveil a new camera on Wednesday, July 7th. Unfortunately, that will no longer be happening. The Sony camera official YouTube channel uploaded a short video today announcing that the announcement has been postponed. No reason was given for the decision, though it did say that the new date will be announced soon. And again from the OnePlus could be working on its very own tablet. OnePlus Pad Moniker have been trademarked at the European Union Intellectual Property Office. OnePlus Tablet will be a new addition to the company's portfolio. And again from the OnePlus, we are going to see OnePlus 90 to launch in quarter 3 2021. The phone may come with ColorOS 11 following the recent announcement. OnePlus 90 is rumored to come with a 108 megapixel Hasselblad quad cameras. OnePlus Nord 2 launch date could be on July 24th. The key specifications include a 6.43 inch Full HD plus 90Hz AMOLED display, MediaTek Diamond 3200 processor and a 50 megapixel triple rear camera and comes with a 4200mAh battery. Android users need to be on high alert as Google has removed 9 hugely popular applications from its Play Store. But they could still be hiding in plain sight on your smartphone. This latest batch of applications were found trying to gain access to Facebook usernames and passwords via hidden malicious code. 
Oppo Reno6 Z launch date has now been revealed. The handset will be made official at the 5:30 p.m. on July 21st in Thailand. The microsite of the phone is now live on Oppo Thailand's website. The Oppo Thailand listing of the phones reveal that it will be sporting a 64 megapixel triple camera. This handset offers photography features like bokeh flare portrait and portrait beautification video. This device will be powered by an unspecified Dimensity chip that supports 5G connectivity. The device will arrive with a support for 30 watt walk flash charge Huawei announced that it will be launching the new MatePad 11 on 6th of July 2021 The upcoming tablet will also arrive with the support for Harmony OS 2.0 After 27 years, Jeff Bezos will no longer serve as the chief of Amazon. Bezos plans to take a step back to focus on their other passions and endeavors. Andy Jassy will be taking his place at the helm of the company. Fans could not contain their excitement when they learned the ghost of Tsushima director's cut and it will be available for both PS5 and PS4. Certain features will be exclusive to the PS5 but the part that really counts. The Licky Island story expansion will be available on both the consoles. The director's cut is now available on the Sony PlayStation Store for pre-order and players who own the base game will be able to upgrade to the director's cuts with ease. The price for the upgrade is 1664 and the game will be available for download sometime around august 2020 2021 ZTE first launched the underscreen camera technology last year on board the Accent 20 5G Extreme Edition. The Chinese company is expected to launch its second generation underscreen camera technology this year stuffed inside the Accent 30 series. There have been several rumors surrounding the Accent 30 series, but ZTE has now released an official teaser poster that suggests the launch is imminent. Nokia earlier this year unveiled the new G series. The company launched two smartphones under its new budget smartphone lineup, G10 and G20. Among the two devices, the G20 have made its way to India. The new budget smartphone is listed in Amazon. It also reveals that the new Nokia smartphone is priced under rupees 15,000 in India. The device computes against the likes of Redmi Note 10, Realme Narzo 34G and Poco M3 Pro, etc. It features a 48 megapixel quad camera setup and a 5,050 mAh battery. Three. In November last year, DJI Innovations unveiled its smallest handheld camera gimbal, the DJI Pocket 2. The company is now set to release another version of the portable gimbal. The upcoming version will sport a white paint job and will be unveiled in China at 9:30 a.m. on July 8. According to the report, Xiaomi is the leader in the second-hand market for smartphones that were produced locally in the second quarter of this year in China. And according to the Mobile Phone Market Report for the second quarter of 2021, in this report it was revealed that the Chinese tech giant overtook Vivo to become the largest domestic smartphone brand in the second-hand handset market. Although the number one brand in the terms of transaction volume increases was Honor, which saw a month-on-month growth rate of whooping 88.34 percentage during the second quarter. with the price of second hand apple iphone witnessing a steady decline in the used market on the other hand the prices for the second hand flagship smartphone models from hawaii sai and explosive rise reaching 96.45% for the mate 40 pro while 5g enabled handset were the market leader for the new smartphone segment 4g was still accounted for the notable market share of the second hand market thanks for watching this video please kindly support my channel by giving a like share and subscribe and follow dj integrity on twitter Instagram and Facebook